Hello, I'm Patrick Vallance, UK Government Chief Scientific Advisor. During the pandemic, um, when we looked at lots of the different areas of research going on, it seemed important to try and pull together those strands into themes that would be particularly important for the delivery of effective policy. And that was the basis of the national core studies of which six different strands were set up. Epidemiology and surveillance, transmission and environment, clinical trials, infrastructure, immunity, data and connectivity, and of course this one of longitudinal health and well-being. And I want to thank you for what you've done because the longitudinal health and well-being national core studies has brought together a range of people from different disciplines to tackle crucial problems. And already we can see that the UK is in a very strong position in terms of data, in terms of the data applied to these questions of health and well-being. From open safely through to the TREs of the uh, NHS digital programme and the BHF uh, um, uh, programme on this area, through to longitudinal linkage collaboration. These are really critical underpinning tools that allow this to occur. And during COVID, of course, the output of the work that was going on and is going on is important to the way policy can develop. So whether that's uh, thinking about the um, inequalities and differences in vaccine uptake and how we can begin to understand that, whether it's the effects of furlough on everything from mental health through to physical well-being, whether it's the impact of inequalities in the way health is utilised and indeed so how access to health systems are utilised and, uh, and actually bring benefit. These are crucial questions which the access to data and the ability to use longitudinal data collections coupled with current data systems and indeed data beyond the health system to things like mobility, to uh, patterns of movement, uh, to environmental conditions become very, very important to understand and inform policy choices that might face government. So a thank you from me because this has brought together, I think, a brilliant group of people working together in a way that looks really encouraging for answering these big questions and informing the things that we need to learn about and of course you know one of the big ones that you're focusing on that will remain important is what are the long-term health effects of covid long covid and other consequences but also training the people the new generation of skilled individuals who've come up in this multidisciplinary environment who will think differently about how they take their question and apply the range of technologies and approaches and methodology that are required to get answers to it, rather than starting with an individual methodology or approach and saying, what questions can I answer with this methodology? So a problem orientated, interdisciplinary ability to pull together these very rich resources that we exist that exist in the UK will, I think, be important for the future of understanding healthcare, for linking that to society and all of the issues that come along when we look at the problems that we face and the opportunities that we might get from that. So I hope the conference is a great success. I'm sure it will be, knowing some of the people involved. And I think this is an important activity for the future that I thank you for everything you're doing.